speaking of power, how many of you <coughs> would like to learn how to loosen someone else's rigid model of the world so that they are open to change? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how many of you would like to take people and yourself to a higher level of communication? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we're going to be talking about right now, which is the Milton model. Richard Bandler and John Grinder went off to study Virginia Satir. Okay, Virginia Satir originally, and they got the idea from Virginia because she could do spectacular work just by getting more specific. Upstate, become more specific in the language that she uses. Okay. Now, however, on the opposite end of that spectrum, okay, the opposite end of the spectrum, you got the Milton model. So as you chunk down, Okay, that would be the um, meta model. Okay, meta model. What is chunk? I'm sorry. What's the definition of chunk? Good question. We're gonna go through this. We are still in the what section, so this is perfect question and very appropriate for where we're going through right now. Okay, so chunk up is you start going up in level of communication. Chunk down, you go into specificity. Okay, so chunk up, and then here you chunk down. You're going to talk a little bit more about that. Okay. So the metal model is more specific. The Milton model is what? Abstract and vague, exactly. Okay? <coughs> Abstract. Vague. So these are the opposite side of the spectrum. As a communicator, at times, you want to chunk up where people will not understand what specifically you are communicating, such as you are wondering how many ways you can make the best meaning of this, versus specifically in situations when someone is not clear on what they want and you help them to come exactly what they need to do. So this put people in trance, this get them down out of trance. Make sense? So this is trance. Oops, trans. Okay, this is more out of trance. So, let's keep going and then we'll go into the how, okay?